and it is the most used programming language for automation. Welcome back super freelancers, this is Zaheed, your freelancing mentor. And some people ask me about what are the good data sources where they could learn Python programming language. So today I'm going to be sharing some data sources and websites which can definitely help you to become from a beginner Python programmer to an expert Python programmer. If you are just getting started and don't know even the ABCD of Python programming language, then I would suggest you start with W3Schools. And so this website has many functions, many available guides that can help you to learn the concepts of Python programming language. And the other website is Tutorials Point. This is also very helpful. I think most of the programming guidance, I have got it from this website. So you start learning with W3Schools and once you start working on the actual projects, then you can use both of these, the W3Schools and the Tutorials Point that can very much help you to complete the projects. So these websites will help you to learn about the basic syntax, how to use the variables, how to declare them, and some basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication. And then you can learn about loops, basically for loops. If you want to iterate over something uh, like starting a counter, then these loops are essential. And these are defined by for loops or while loops. Basically, if there is a condition, for example, you want to use if or else statements, if this or else that. In W3Schools, loops have separate sections, for example, uh, if else, while loops, for loops, and some other functions. And when we're talking about using variables and how exactly to use and store information, that is stored in lists, in tuples, in dictionaries. And you can learn more about these by going through these tutorials. And from among the basic tutorials, uh, you should definitely learn about Python functions, how to use them how to use and build modules, how to use files input output, how to use Python exceptions. These are important concepts that you must learn and must practice them. And from among the advanced tutorials, there are many others uh, like networking, sending email, multi-threading, XML processing, GUI programming, CGI programming. From among these, you must know to get started are the Python classes, how to create classes, how to create objects, and uh, how exactly to use the regular expressions. How to find and search through information, regular expressions are must to know. So once you have covered all the basic tutorials and from Python advanced tutorial, the object classes and regular expressions, and later when you actually land a project and start working on a project, then you can learn and practice the other Python advanced tutorials depending on your needs. And especially for taking like baby steps to learn more in detail, use W3Schools website because here, so here you can see more functions available in the headings, more different sections for file handling, for different modules, for, for the MATLAB library, and even for the machine learning libraries and information. And also more information about how we can use and interact and communicate and store information in the databases like MySQL, MongoDB, and then there are some other references and examples. If you're looking for more detailed examples, then definitely start with W3Schools, and once you land projects and start working on actual jobs, then definitely use both of these side by side. And while learning Python programming language, if you have any concerns, any issues, any difficulty learning, then definitely don't hesitate to contact me and my help and guidance will be at your service. And it is the most used programming language for automation. And you can find thousands of thousands of jobs on Upwork and other freelancing websites regarding automation. So my super freelancers, keep learning and keep earning. Until next time, take care.